I am William, and for GovHack 2024, my team built Prevent Rhino Ads AI. The challenge we chose was AI ads using open road crash data here in Victoria. Now this is the home page here. We've got a little bit of information at the top here about what the ad does, generating a personalized vintage ad. An example here of some of the previously generated images. And of course, we attribute the Victoria public crash data, which we use in order to generate these ads. Now on the nav bar up here, we've got the home, generate, gallery, and user accounts for authentication. I'm gonna click on the generate button up here, and it's gonna come up with this button, generate accident ad. Now I'm gonna click this. Loading, please hold. It's currently generating the vintage ad. While we wait, I'm gonna show you some code. Now, the project is built with Next.js using TypeScript. In this route, which is being performed now, I'm using making an API request to the Discover data in Victoria here in order to get a random accident. Now then, a sentence is constructed from that, from that accident, and that sentence is then used for text to image. I'm, and I'm using a hugging face for this. Uh, the model that I'm using is a vintage ads flux. I'm also uploading this generated image to Vercel Blob. Finally, I use hugging face again, and from that generated image, I go image to text. Now all this data is then inserted into a neon da database. Go. This is this is the generated vintage ad. This here is the sentence that it used to generate the the image. We've also got gallery up here. We'll click on that. Now this here is the gallery unique per user of all previous images generated. You can see the one we just generated here. It's also got social media sharing buttons here. We'll just scroll through and look at some of our previous generations. So uh, this, this application could be used for public awareness campaigns, could be used to generate ads for a certain postcode, and then put up ads around the area to show about the accidents that were happened in the area.